of Intelligence focuses on financial services. And I wanted to also just showcase who are some of the clients that we represent. Um, this is more for context for when you see some of the applications, specifically some of the, the data applications that we built with Dash Enterprise. Um, typically, a lot of clients might use them to develop specific workflow and go very deep in that one workflow. But like you can see on this slide, we have many, many different clients, different personas across uh, academia, banks, private equity. So all of the different users' personas, there's an almost unlimited amount of different workflows and use cases that we're trying to solve for. On the left-hand side, we have hundreds of different data sets, ranging from textual data, so structured, unstructured data um, that change uh, through time, so huge amounts of volume of data, um, and we want to be able to take and combine all of these different permutations of data sets to all of the different workflows that clients might have. And effectively going from the left-hand side and figuring out a much easier way of, of solving, creating insights, and delivering it to the technical users, um, to the non-technical and technical users in different capacities without having to traverse this full landscape. And as you can see, predominantly, we highlighted on the right-hand side, Snowflake and Databricks. Databricks we use as a white label platform, which is Workbench, where we do a lot of the engineering, which we'll go into in a second. And a lot of our data is also cloud ready. So if clients are using Snowflake, for example, we use a lot of our data warehousing in Snowflake as well. So like I mentioned, the majority of our users, of our non-technical users, are using web applications, which is like a fully curated experience of solving, performing research, solving workflow problems. Their applications enhance that. So it gives us a much quicker way to take all of the different data feeds, develop an application, and deliver deliver the kind of the UI piece um, to the users directly. So it's an add-on to, to our web application, to Capital IQ Pro. In addition, um, a lot of the Excel users, there's always been kind of this, this, um, this fine line where technical users that work in Excel um, that perform a lot of heavy computation and extract a lot of data from our Excel plugins tend to pull sometimes tens of tens of thousands, or hundreds of thousands of different data points. So there's always a cutoff. When do you move from Excel into a notebook environment? So that application is solved for that by giving us a way to standardize a workflow and give those users a lot more processing power, a lot more horsepower to perform that analysis. It unlocks those same users for different textual analysis. So if for different data type analysis. So if they cannot run textual analysis in Excel, of course, they can do it in an application, export the results into Excel, it enriches the existing workflows. The third point, S&P data is data is still the product. So we're still showcasing the value of all of the different data sets and solutions um, without having to go through that whole landscape. And the final two points very briefly, accelerate the speed. One or two dash developers can effectively build applications, deliver it, better ROI, facilitates much quicker to market solutions without any heavy investments. And then as a, we're a large company, we have a lot of different data teams, data science teams, engineering teams, so we can actually leverage the expertise across the board. We have our data analytics platform, which is, which is called Workbench, which is a Databricks white label solution. And we wanted to keep things very simple. So all of our data is in Snowflake. We do all of our ETL orchestration. A lot of uh, the model building that we have as well is built uh, within Databricks. From Databricks, we have very simply a SQL serverless endpoint uh, that we use that connects to Plotly, that connects to Dash or the data applications, um, and refreshes the UI effectively. So it's it's more complicated than that, of course, because we, we're doing a lot of stress testing, performance testing. There's a lot of our components, but at the heart of it, these are kind of the core components that we have. Snowflake, Databricks, some sort of an endpoint, and a data a Dash is for the data application. Perfect. So this is what any uh, any current client of Capital IQ Pro gets access to, which is our labs, um, Capital IQ Pro Labs. And this is effectively the home for innovation. So this isn't just Dash applications. This is this is an initiative where we have multiple different teams working towards um, using the latest technology and innovations to effectively develop and design insights for our clients. Specifically, the two Dash applications you see are uh, Topical key phrases, which is topic modeling on a single document, and trending topics, which allows you to visualize trends on a quarterly basis. For you. you have um, you have the ability to look at a specific company, so you can type in, for example, S and P Global, 
Um, you could look at different sectors from the S&P 500. So you can have a variety of different uh, sectors that are part of the index. Or if you want, you could look at the index as a whole, um, sort of full S&P 500 index. And the keyword section allows you to search uh, for bigrams. So you can type in inflation, for example, you can type in even uh, multiple keywords of so high inflation. And what it does is it te takes these two keywords. It goes from 2017 to 2024. So it searches for about 14,000 different transcripts and it aggregates it for 500 companies in a couple of seconds. And this is the end result. How you use this is it updates. Uh, you get to pick what are the core up to 10 different phrases that are mentioned. It draws a heat map of the document. So the presentation section, so if you see each speaker has a section, each section is labeled on a, like a heat map. Um, and then you wanna, sometimes you wanna hide all of the blank spaces without any highlights, so noise. So what it will do is it will compress the heat map to only the topics that are relevant for you. And then this is your main navigation panel. So if you wanna uh, read about uh, GPU acceleration, for example, you can select the specific section uh, of the Q&A. It will take you to whoever's speaking and it will highlight the raw input with the same color as the actual topic that's mentioned. Performance, um, anything we change, anything we click, it requires a lot of testing. And when it comes to building things, it requires a lot of understanding from the data engineering, the data science, requires a lot of somebody to mock up how the UI would work, especially if this is something we did internally, we don't, it doesn't have to be polished, but this is, this is an external application going to clients. So everything from the engineering to the models, to the UI work, to the performance testing requires a lot of effort um, and a lot of building. And Dash effectively allows us to kind of accelerate that process. Challenge here, as we saw before, based on the Onyx diagram, is that there was a lot of different services that they were looking to consolidate and get value from. A lot of different workflows, a lot of different personas that they're working with, and they don't want to have to build out a full stack solution. And also self-service analytics can only get you so far. Uh, instead, they use Dash Enterprise built on top of their data stack, which involves Snowflake for raw data, which is then piped into Databricks for the rest of their ETL and processing. And Dash is able to front end that, as you saw just before, incredibly uh, you know, quickly. So applications are running in a very performant fashion. Uh, in terms of end results, I mean, this section is just amazing. Like, I don't even know how this is possible, but <laughs> these, these numbers are miraculous. We have 80 to 90% faster time to insight than before when it comes to analysis. And every single day in these applications, we have at least 40 to 50 clients, um, you know, for S&P uh, utilizing these and getting value from them.